Peggy 12. Welcome to Fire Emblem Direct, your destination for news and updates on multiple new Fire Emblem titles. War looms, so prepare for battle by arming yourself with information on the many quests ahead. The first begins now. かつてこの地上に神と呼ばれる存在があった。バレンシアと呼ばれるこの大地にもローマとミラという二柱の兄弟神があった。力こそ全てと信じるローマは人々が堕落することを許さず生き物たちが自由に遊び戯れる楽園
In fact, every aspect of Gaiden's presentation has been updated, and every line of dialogue has been fully voiced. Free roaming. Dungeons crawling with enemies. Flexible character progression. Everything that made Fire Emblem Gaiden unique is here. It's classic Fire Emblem gameplay with a twist. Fire Emblem Echoes Shadows of Valentia will launch on the Nintendo 3DS family of systems May 19th. Alongside the game, Amiibo figures of Alm and Celica will march onto store shelves. We'll have more to announce in the future. On the distant horizon, another full-scale war is mounting. That's right. A brand new Fire Emblem game is coming to Nintendo Switch. It will mark the series' first return to home systems since 2008's Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn on the Wii console. But with Nintendo Switch, the home console experience of Fire Emblem won't be confined to your house. Look forward to a planned 2018 release. This just in from the front lines. A crossover between Koei Tecmo Games' Warriors series and Fire Emblem, and the full trailer includes scenes that weren't in last week's reveal. Take a look. Still not ready for battle? Then listen up. The game is being developed not only for Nintendo Switch, but also for new Nintendo 3DS systems. Look out for Koei Tecmo's Fire Emblem Warriors, brought to you by the team behind Hyrule Warriors, in fall of 2017. Now for a lesson in truly mobile defense. To battle! just saw the opening of the first ever Fire Emblem game for smart devices. In this tactical RPG, you'll wage strategic battles in the fantasy world of Fire Emblem and level up beloved series characters 
as you throw down the gauntlet anytime, anywhere. And you're in luck. You've been summoned to battle. Fate has brought two warring kingdoms together in a bitter clash. The Emblian Empire plans to conquer every world it collides with, while the Askren Kingdom stands against them, determined to end their tyranny. Now, the Kingdom of Asker faces total destruction. As a summoner, you must call upon Fire Emblem heroes from throughout history to unite as one army. You'll encounter a mix of new combatants and legendary heroes. Some will become your allies, while others will become enemy generals and take arms against you. It's an epic quest in the palm of your hand. Each map is an 8x6 grid designed to fit on a smartphone screen. Yes. That way you can enjoy the full majesty of tactical roleplay, even when playing in short bursts. To attack, simply drag an ally until it overlaps with an enemy. Or, as in previous Fire Emblem games, you can select a location on the screen to move there, and then select your action. It's your army, so lead them your way. As you will. If you manage to defeat every enemy on a given map, victory will be yours. Hmm? While the controls are simple, many challenging maps will require you to take full advantage of your terrain and plan your moves carefully to achieve victory. Fire Emblem fans will find the battle intensity they've come to expect from the series. You'll notice some important symbols above each of your heroes. These are attributes, keys to success in battle, and each character has their own. Take note, summoners. Red is strong against green. Green is strong against blue. And blue is strong against red. Veterans will recognize this as the signature weapon triangle system of Fire Emblem. Even the bravest of Fire Emblem heroes would do best to avoid attacks from enemies with dominant attributes. I will not fail! Gods! It seems playing to your strengths is of dire importance. Using an item called an orb, you can summon a hero to claim as your ally. Orbs can be acquired during gameplay, or through additional purchases at the shop. Now, let's summon a hero. The coloring of these five randomly generated summoning stones represent the attributes of the heroes you can summon. That means you can try to supplement the attributes lacking in your current army. Or you can select a summoning stone of a certain color to call upon heroes with the attributes you desire. Continue summoning, and the number of orbs required to summon a hero will lessen. On this first summon, I'm crossing my fingers for long coup. Ah, the timid dancer Olivia. Can't rely on dancing all the time. Okay, I might get that sword on my next try, so let's try summoning again. When you repeatedly summon, you can save on the number of orbs you need to use, so that's a bonus too. Excellent! Yes! The Stoic Swordsman Long Ku. Most warriors never learn their limits, and Long Ku is a shining example. The heroes are depicted in brand new art, hand-drawn by a variety of illustrators, and their voices have been newly recorded. There is power fathomless within my pendant. I've taken a real interest in you. Captivated by my style and grace? <laughs> of course you are. Shall we chat? Just for a while. I know you have plenty to do. You're an odd one. The number of stars allocated to each hero denotes their strength. These stars are called Astra. 
you may encounter multiple versions of the same character, but higher star counts can mean higher stats, better weapons, and better skills. Okay, let's add Long Ku to the party and head into battle. Fear not, Long Ku is an expert swordsman. Uh, oh, gods, such tragedy. I'm afraid our fledgling Long Ku has a great deal to learn. There's much to explore outside of the main quest, such as the Training Tower, where heroes can gain ample experience and rewards through combat. There are many ways to battle, and each will level up your heroes while offering new challenges. As heroes gain combat experience, players can use the rewards they've earned to learn new skills, to level up heroes, and even to increase their star rating. Even heroes who begin with fewer stars can earn more through battling and special materials. Over time, it's possible for heroes to max out at five stars. As you can see, our Long Ku is already growing in strength at a rapid pace. Hero battles are timed encounters in which you'll battle against a selected hero. Win the battle, and the defeated hero will become your ally. Sometimes, an extremely powerful hero may appear, such as the Scarlet Swordsman Navar. Since when does a swordsman of his caliber fall in with thieves and cutthroats? Though, if you're willing to pay for his services with your life, consider yourself the high bidder. And with that, Navar will lend his sword to your cause. But it won't be easy. These battles are truly heroic undertakings. From Long Ku and Navar, to Marth and Corin, to allies you've yet to meet, a legion of friends, new and old, will unite under a common banner. Fight together, level up, and grow in strength. Soon, the battle goes mobile. In Fire Emblem Heroes, please stay tuned. To help you get ready for launch, we're opening up the official Fire Emblem Heroes Choose Your Legends event. Starting today, you can visit the website to browse through characters from the Fire Emblem franchise and select the ones that you'd like to see make an appearance in Fire Emblem Heroes. Then, the global community's top-ranked hero and heroine will be featured in Fire Emblem Heroes as Choose Your Legends event characters. Marth, Tiki, Seleph, Roy, Lin, Erika, Ike, Krom, Corin, Navar, Longku, Validar, and Niles. Who will you choose? Remember, Choose your legends on the official website, which will go live today. For Nintendo account holders, you'll receive a platinum point bonus for voting. Oh, and you can pre-register for the Fire Emblem Heroes game too. Our journey today may be over, but there are many quests ahead. Till we meet in battle.